Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator and today we are continuing our cross-country journey up to the northwestern United States. If you are interested in acquiring any of my Overkill's tutorial guides for Microsoft Flight Simulator, please consider joining me on Patreon. Patreon subscribers level tier 2 and above have access to all of my guides as well as any future updates and future guides that will be coming down the road. Link to Patreon can be found in the description below. All right, my friends, so you guys know the drill. It is time to continue our career in NeoFly as we continue to move our uh, destination up towards the far northwestern United States, possibly into Alaska, depending on what our options are when we get up that high. So let's see where we are now. We are at KJRC. And that's going to be yep, San Diego International or San Jose International, excuse me. All right, and where do we want to go? This one's a pretty decent jump. Up the coastline, over the bay. It'd be kind of a nice, good scenic tour. Actually, that one's not bad at all. That one's not bad at all. So what do we have here? And this is a uh, cargo mission. All right, let's do it. That's kind of a cool looking flight. All right, so we're gonna hit fly. We're gonna hit connect and fly. And we are missing 170 pounds in the cargo on the aircraft. So let's adjust that. And do 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 payload. 170 pounds so we're looking for what would that be? 360? Transporter from dispatch. Boom. Good morning. The cargo mission will start as soon as you get in your aircraft and set the payload. Pilot from dispatch. The cargo door is open and the cargo is being transferred. Fact. All right. Oh, what did I do? Hit the wrong button. There we go. All right. Let me get the head tracker going while they're loading up the aircraft. Why are you so far out of sync there? Oh, that was weird. That's. I don't know why my headset got so messed up, but it totally did. You guys like the back of my seat there? Isn't that cool? There we go. All right. Let the games begin here. Uh, let's see here. Heads, nice Transporter. To set. Loading is complete. Let's awesome. go. Awesome. That was quick. All right. Let's get moving here. And let's see here. Do 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 do. Oh, damn it! Forgot spad. I always forget something, no matter how many times I run through. Do I have this software? Do I have that software? Is this software on? I always end up missing something. Like today, I remembered FS Realistic. I've been forgetting it like almost every time. It's always got to be something. Although I forget spat out next quite a bit. I'm sort of guilty on that one too. But we can set our barometric pressure. That one's set while that's loading. I don't want to turn the avionics on just yet. We can force our stuff in here. There we go. There we go. All right, now it's with us. Crack that throttle. Parking brake is set. Fuel tank is selected. Fuel tanks are balanced at 24 pounds. Uh, we can clear the caution light, and let's see here, barometric pressure set. Let's give her a rip! Clear prop! Beautiful! Master Avionics comes to the on position, transponder set to on. Probably should have turned my lights on, but luckily we're way back here in the back. No one can see us, right? So, beacon light comes on, nav light comes on, taxi light comes on, recog lights are on. And let's find out what weather is going to be looking like today. Well, you do not seem to be communicating. Come on, what's going on here? Flight info. My class echo isn't working. Let's just reboot it. Class Echo is freaking awesome. I can't wait uh, to see what he comes out with next. Shake Print does some really cool stuff. All right, um, let me set my custom view. There we go. That's what I wanted, a bit higher. It's looking good. Let's see here, cylinder head temperature.
All right, let's get rolling. This much ground traffic, I feel like there should be uh, traffic lights here. It's kind of insane today. Oh, Corsair. And a Hawker. We're never going to squeeze past that Hawker, so I'm just going to... I need to turn the ground. See, this is why I always have the ground vehicles turned off. There's just, like, such randomness to everything. Nothing ever makes sense as to why they're there. Whoa, bright light. Be, uh, oh, no, goodness gracious. We're turning the wrong way, folks. Actually, we can take the runway right here. This will work perfect. Hit those brakes. Oh, hello. Strobe lights on, landing lights on, taxi lights off. Continuing forward. Double check barometric pressure. Flap set for takeoff. Approach clear, runway's clear. We've got the arrow, so we can just do a push from here. On our way out of here, folks. All right, and airspeed alive. There's 60 knots, looking for 70. 70 on the speed. Rotate. Transporter from dispatch. Fly safe. Positive rate. Gear coming up. Bringing those flaps in. Gonna be looking for about 2,500 feet today. We're gonna try to keep it nice and low today. Enjoy the scenery. Ooh, little bump. Keep the engine on strong for a little bit longer. Start trimming a bit of nose aft. So release some of that back pressure on the stick. Too much released. Coming on a thousand feet, I'm going to start pulling some of the RPMs back. Let's get down to about 2300 and let's bring that manifold pressure back to about 2500. Maintain a nice strong cruise or climb, excuse me. Oop, a little too much off on the RPMs. All right, and coming back on the mixture just a hair. Exhaust temperature back in the green. Got 2,000 coming up on the box here. 2,005 to go. 500 to go. Heading bugs squared away here. There's 2,500, bringing the nose down. Try to keep it right in here is about. We're gonna bring our manifold back to about 2,100. And RPM's down as well. 
Come on, nose down, nose down. 100 feet out of where I wanted to be. Come on, keep trimming, baby. Keep trimming, nope. Keep trimming, keep trimming. Keep trimming, bring it in, bring it in. Mixture coming back in. There we go, getting mixture back where it belongs. RPM is about 2200, manifold pressure 2200, I can live with that. We are continuing to climb a bit though. I'm going to slowly trim us down to get back to 2500. I really want to keep it right around there. And I'm going to steer us back on course here. And she likes to climb. She likes to climb. It's locked in looking good. Let's go ahead and uh, gonna set our vertical speed down a little bit. It's a nice easy 200 feet per minute. Nothing too crazy. Let's go ahead and swap those fuel tanks over. I try to do it about every two gallons of fuel. There is our beautiful Mooney enjoying the nice San Jose area. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous day for flying. Just about back to our 2,500 feet. Let's back out. Highly recommend the Class Echo, guys. Class Echo. Just Google Class Echo by Shake Print. I'll try to remember to put a link to it down in the description below. Um, you do have to assemble it essentially yourself, and there's a few other parts you have to buy outside of it. But the firmware uh, is all developed by Shake Print. The overall box is developed by Shake Print. He does a really, really awesome work. It is a super handy tool to have in the aircraft. Uh, I use it on just about every flight. Everything from controlling the autopilot. Um, and it's just because where, where the functionality is nice is, especially if you don't have a ton of space. It's about this, from end to end of this uh, device, is about the size of my hand. Um, and so, you know, average man's hand, I guess. You know, the best I can give you guys. Uh, I think it's about five, five and a half, maybe six inches long. Uh, maybe about three and a half to four inches tall. It's really not bad. Um, and uh, it is extremely handy when you don't have a ton of space. I'm constantly switching gear in and out. Uh, you know, I have my Thrustmaster Warthog that I actually fly with primarily because I'm bouncing between this and airliners and DCS World and helicopters, right? Um, so I find myself switching in and out a lot. And the nice thing about the, the Shake Print Class Echo is it really gives you the opportunity to uh, very smoothly and seamlessly control multiple aircraft and all of the systems um, without having to uh, swap a whole bunch of gear out or, you know, you guys know if you've been watching my channel for any length of time how I feel about the mouse. I can't stand the mouse. Uh, I, I use the mouse as, as little as possible when I fly. Uh, let's see here. No, we got everything. Okay, I was thinking that I forgot something. Nope. All right. <laughs> That's once in a row. <laughs> he can be taught. Um, but uh, it is a really, really awesome little tool. And it's everything from the autopilot to your radios. Uh, it just gives you general flight information, heading, altitude, current winds. Um, just a ton of very fantastic and very helpful information uh, when flying around. And uh, it just, you can simply very easily swap through different menus. Also, your lights uh, can be controlled from your lights, your magnetos. I mean, just about everything from this one little four and a half inch screen. Uh, the screen is a touch screen that you would purchase, and you get that from Amazon. Transport or, or, from dispatch. 
A competitor of our client contacted us. He's willing to pay a big bonus if you route his cargo to another airport. Up to you. Check your mission log for details. They better not have me going. If they have me going back, I'm not going to take this one. Okay, no, they don't have us going back. So I'll show you guys where they have us going. So let's take a look here. So this is our current destination. They want us to take the cargo here. So that's really not too bad. Uh, oh, to San Francisco. You guys want to go check out San Francisco? Let's go check out San Francisco. So let's see what we got here. Uh, where are we right now? Okay. Wow, it's literally off our left. Well, folks, let's uh, let's grab a little bit of extra money. Money is always good, and let's let's take her west. Again, I oh darn it! Sorry, guys, I didn't turn Neil fly off. My bad. There you go. All I did was just adjust our heading, but you didn't miss anything. But uh, that is the awesome part about this application, is it just throws these little... Last time we flew, we had to actually go back to San Jose uh, and drop off a uh, per person who was wanted that was on the aircraft. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. So it should be... Off our oh gosh it is right there uh, we should probably start checking the winds here let's what's our winds at uh, two six zero at seven knots our current heading of two four zero so yeah we'll be uh, we'll be landing right in there so let's uh, let's start a descent let's see here we're gonna get set our altitude down to one thousand feet actually I'm gonna go to seven hundred feet and we're gonna do vertical speed active I don't want quite that fast. Let's begin. We're going to start pulling some power off here. We're going to start bringing the mixture back in a bit. I'm going to leave the prop in at full for now. But we're going to pull the manifold pressure back. Uh, we actually have the full tank selected. We're going to aid us out here a little bit. Here, I'm going to pop some speed brakes out. Go ahead and start dropping first stage of flaps. Sort of making a rapid descent here in San Francisco. And I guess we'll go ahead and increase our rate of descent down to a thousand feet per minute. Got so quiet. <laughs> They're like, yeah, until you start talking. San Francisco is a gorgeous airport. Pull up the book on San Francisco. It's been a while since I've landed here. Gotta figure out where we're where we're parking today. Uh, general aviation. Uh, Super Bay. It looks like we're in a. All right, we're gonna take the. Uh, we're going to take 28 right and uh, we'll exit after 19 or right. Okay, cool. Easy peasy. So we're going to park right over here. Airspeed's looking good. Altitude's looking good. Let's go ahead and disengage our autopilot. We're going to take control. Airplanes ours once again. Speed brakes retracted. Nope. Let's get those speed brakes in. Overkill November Niner Two Fiber Three Sierra Foxtrot Zulu Bravo Alpha Five Four Winds Three Zero Five at Twelve Knots Altimeter Two Niner Eight Five Runway Two Eight Right Clear to Land. There we go. 
Gear coming down. Flaps two coming in. And yes, I'm sorry guys. Overkill November 2, Niner Sierra Foxtrot. Runway 28, right clear to land. Full flaps in. RPM's coming back. Tripping nose down a bit more. There we go. Nice. Easy peasy from here. Easy peasy. We're going to do a bit of our long taxi. I hate that glare you get when you start looking down. I hate that. I wish they would deal with that. I don't like it. Got a bit of a crosswind, it looks like. That's all right. I'm looking for that dash right between the big uh, piano keys there. The touchdown zone. Transporter, oh! the competitor is waiting for you at the parking. If everything is okay, you will get your bonus. Ooh, like dropping a piano. <laughs> Did you guys hear me land? I uh, hear you, sir. We felt it land. Mercy, not one of my better ones, was it? My bad. <laughs> You know, and the other day I was just feeling like I'm, I'm starting to get a decent hang of the Mooney. But, uh, that was a noobs. Alright, as we currently don't have any other traffic, we're going to go ahead and continue down. I'm exiting, I'd like to exit at Delta is what I'm looking for. Make our lives a little easier. See, I know a guy who knows a guy who knows a guy who once uh, went to college with this other guy and lived next door to this other person around on the street um, who never met each other whatsoever. And uh, they gave me permission to do a very long taxi here. You know, it's all about knowing people, guys. It's all about knowing people. Oops. All right, so flaps up. Clear the runway. It's a good thing this wasn't a fragile mission. That would have been bad. All right, strobe lights off. And landing lights off, taxi lights on. Let's go find our parking spot. You don't even know how much money we have in Neofly right now. Oh wow, yes I do. We have like a we have seventeen hundred thousand dollars in Neofly right now. Wow. It's almost time to look for a new plane, guys. Or it might be time to retire the Mooney soon. Maybe not retire it, but get someone else to fly it. We're gonna park it right over here. We were told to park behind the building to deliver the stuff. All right, let's park it. Check this out. Boom. Stand by, pilot. Cargo unloading. I hate it when she tells me what to do. It's so rude. All right, prop coming back. That coming back. I mean, Magneto's coming back. At least trying to get the Magneto's back. And transponder comes off. Avionics off, alternator off, lights off, Oops. and battery off. Aircraft secure. 
They will let them finish their thing. Let's see how we do. Vertical speed at touchdown was 186 feet per minute. So, I mean, it wasn't terrible. I think it just felt harder than it actually was. I've had worse. I mean, 186 feet per minute, that's not bad. On those, uh, so, on the fragile cargo runs, we have to do typically less than 200 feet per minute. So, we still would have made that. I feel like that could have been a lot worse. Almost done. Oh, it says they were done. Why didn't we get the audio? Oh. All right. Well, apparently it's done. <laughs> and wow, we picked up fifteen thousand dollars for that. We went from seven fifteen to seven thirty-three. Here, I'll pull that up here. There we go. Boom. Check that out right there. That's that's our moolah right there. Not bad. Set of curiosity. Let's go ahead and look. I'm kind of curious. Ooh, we got a Baron here. We could do the Baron. <gasps> oh, it's $2 million. Oof. What else we got? The DA-40. That's kind of a cool plane. A King Air, $2.7 million. Gosh darn, man. The Icon A5. That's a pretty fun little plane. I wouldn't want it for this, though. At least not, not at this time. H-135 would be cool as heck, though. Ah, I love how it's listed as a turboprop. I mean, I guess maybe, right? <laughs> Very cool. And by the way, oh, that's the H135. Dang it, I was thinking it was the 145. The 145 would be kind of cool too. Either one of them, honestly, would be fun. The nice thing about the 135 is it's free. All right, well, maybe later on down the road. The G58 is tempting, but honestly, I, I prefer my Mooney over the 58 right now. All right, folks. Well, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Stay tuned for the next one, and uh, I'll see you soon.